candidate, is a derivative, of the Latin candidus, meaning shining white. In ancient Rome, people running for political office, would usually wear togas, chalked and bleached, to be bright white at speeches, debates, conventions, and other public functions. But, to be considered a candidate, a person first must be qualified to be one, and, is called by the term petitioner, or presumptive candidate. Which is, sometimes used to describe, a person who has not, officially become a candidate, but, being considered very likely to, in the future. Remember, candidate, is always going to have questions, and true master mason, will always have the right, and appropriate answers to his curiosity. But first, the candidate, must listen. Because, Freemasonry first asks questions, of the candidate, for initiation, then questions about him. We all have, turning points, in our lives. Most of the time, we cannot see them, until they are in our rear view mirror, or say, until they are, beyond our reach. But candidate must know, or be told, in so many words, that being invited for initiation, is one of those moments. Every intersection, in the journey, through life, offers several possibilities. You just have, to pick the right road. And, those choices have to be made to the journey of life, to gain knowledge, to pursue spiritual, and mental cultivation, and to reach out, to the unknown path, prepared. Masonically, a man is a fool, who suffers from, arrested mental development. He is not mad, neither, is he in his dotage, but he lacks, the ordinary mental equipment, and judgment ability, of the rest of humanity. Such a one, of course, is ineligible to receive the degrees, since he can, neither comprehend, not live up, to their teachings. The petitioner, or presumptive candidate, must express his belief in deity. No atheist, can be made a mason. He must be, under, the tongue of good report, that is, have a good reputation, in his community and, he must obey, the moral law. But, just how much, is included in this phrase, is an open question. While, a moral man, may be hard to define, he is, easy to recognize. The pre-qualifications, as per the old charges, for initiation of the candidate are, that he shall be a man, shall be unmutilated, free-born, and of mature and discreet age, now termed as, legal age. It is highly important, that Freemasons, understand that, a man's motives for, petitioning a lodge are proper, otherwise, we cannot guard, our west gate from invasion, by those who will not, because they cannot, become good master masons.